that's what's side passing. So instead of like a proper leg yoke, there's forward and sideways. Forward, I should do it again. Forward and side. Okay? I want you to almost take the forward away and just go sideways. Okay? So just like super side, as, like as little forward as you can, as much sideways as you can. So you're going to turn up center line. So get, get kind of your working walk going. And then you're going to turn up center line and you're gonna start with some side passes. And if you need your whip, tell me. Look at C. Look at C. Ride a straight line to C. Now sideways, half hold, half hold, more sideways, more side, there, more sideways, look at B, try to get to B, half hold, half hold, half hold, there, there, good, and then a little rounder, and then turn up center line, Now look at A or look at me. And now leg you. Or side pass, sorry. Do it off the right leg. The right leg. The opposite one. Yeah? Half half out more. Half out more. Half out more. Half out more. Yeah? See how she goes forward? Yeah? Good. Look at like like almost like you want to get back at B. Not even at P, but yes, like that. I think you need a whip in your right hand. Like one, good. Okay. So from here, turn up center on. No exiting. And now side pass. Left leg, your left leg now. Always do the opposite. If you turn right onto center line, do it off the left leg. If you turn left onto center line, do it off the right leg. So you, yes, there, there. So it, it's always like a C? Uh, when when yeah. you're side passing because you would turn in off it's the opposite. Yeah, the idea is that you just always are changing things. So if, if by, by doing the opposite, you have to change the bend, it's just another change. So it's not the same. Now it would be the right leg. Half hold. She's going too forward. There. There. Half hold. Yeah. Yeah. Round her. See how hard that is for her though? You want to be able to, like, we have to do this until it's easy. All you're doing is a walking exercise, but that's how stiff and rigid she is. Center line. Now it'll be off your left leg. Wait. Gets, so what I didn't like there, yeah, you already know. What did I not like? Yeah, exactly. You got to like ride down center line, then do it. She did a 10 right, meter yeah, circle. Yeah, and it just kept like, then you fall onto it. That was good. One more off your right leg like that. I'm in shock. I know. I don't I even know what I'm doing. Yesterday. Oh, okay. It didn't just happen. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so it's not. They're not that good. <laughs> but I asked and I received. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Yes. Half halt. That was good with your whip. You just have to then half halt. And again. Yep. 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 The only. The only place there. The one. There was one moment. So their front legs do this, right? She did one where she went back. So then that means she's backward thinking. <sighs> Left shoulder. Yeah. Back. Yep. Yeah. And then you did a good half halt, which was correct, but it made her go backwards. 
So I love um, Tammy. One time she was teaching Kendra and she said, push a half hole, push a half hole. She always told her, push a half hole so that you think of riding forward as you half hole. You ride forward as you half hole so that you never just take back. When we start thinking back, that's how we make horses rear, buck, get backward, get unhappy because they start thinking backward. So go down center line again. And I'm changing the rule. You're gonna do it off your right leg because that was the harder one. And yes, you have to half halt, but never to the point where she gets so backward that she takes a step behind her left front. Now side pass. Half halt the shoulder, half halt. Keep side, there. Half halt the shoulder, half halt the shoulder. Bring her shoulders right and her butt left. There, better at the end. Trough. You can go rising. Big trough, big trough. Yeah, and go all the way down to C and then trot down the center line toward me. but that's because you're making her work. Center line. Good. And walk. And side pass off your right leg. The other right leg. There you go. Yes. Little more sideways. You want to get to the rail before S, but you want to get her haunches. So when I said that, you let the shoulders lead. Trot. Good. Center line. Ride forward. Don't ride like you're going to walk in half fast. side pass. Slow though. Owning, you can own something and go slow. Yes, those are so good. Do you feel the difference? Trot and center line. She actually took bigger steps, right? So that, that means you're getting supplements, right? You ever seen your dad when he first gets out of bed? I bet he doesn't like walk very supple. <laughs> walk and I, side pass. I fall. Like, you know what I mean? Like this? That's what she was doing at first. Yeah. And there! Think about the haunches. See, now yeah. the horse is at, she's loosened yeah. her loin and her yeah. back. So now her hind legs can actually cross underneath yeah. her. Yeah. And then trot! And trot full! Like you're gonna go win the Olympics! <sighs> side pass and this time when you slow down always let the side pass feel too slow and then that's beautiful see how now the bridle stuff has gone away now you're gonna canter when you get to the rail you're gonna canter down center line and then do a canter walk and then side pass. good transition own the canter see that's not owning the canter and walk and side pass. Now slow it way down. Slow it way down. There, that was a good step. That's a good step. Oh, bad step. Good step. 
bad step just so she can see it. Yeah. Yeah, it's good because it's bad matching the there. video. Yeah. And then Canner. The end was not good in her step. Now own the canner. Own the canner. Own the canner. Own the canner. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. And walk. Look at that center line though. Yes. And side pass. That's actually haunches leading. You have to, that's why she got stuck. You have to allow the shoulder a little this way. There. 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 Yes. Yes, canner. Nice. Center line. Yes. Own the canner, own the canner, own the canner, own the canner, walk. Side pass. And every step has to be slow and big. Those are all good steps because they're slow and big. So her left hind has to take, she got stuck. <laughs> You know why she got stuck though? Because you had all good steps. Now can her. Oh. Oh, it's because I was talking to your dad. She thought I was talking to her. Forward. Nice. That's a good canner. Walk. Yes. And side pass. Allow the shoulder, feel that? When she gets stuck, it's because you're not allowing the shoulder enough. It's hard because you have two different horses. When you move her off the left leg, you have to allow the shoulder. When you move her off the right leg, you have to block the shoulder. <laughs> Canner. Now you're gonna come on to a 20 meter circle. We'll come back to this, but come on to a 20 meter circle. Now, working can. Working canner on the 20. Working canner. Good. That's a really nice canner. How does she feel? I, I don't know how to this. It's not what she asked you. Yeah, it's more how does she feel. She feels good. Yeah, she good. looks good. That, I know what you mean. Like she was a little maybe empty in your rein. But all then you need to do is push her more from your leg to your hand. But uh, to me, she looks very supple. She looks, her canner has a nice cadence to it. So we're gonna now work on how we do a canner walk. So I, I had this, Anka explained this to me in a really helpful way this week. She said, you need to make the canner so collective that you, you don't actually tell your horse to walk. You let them walk. You go, okay, now you and they go, hallelujah. And one time I watched James Allenson in a test, it was so interesting because he like did this canner and he went to like just like on the spot cannering. And he was like, what was he doing? And then he had a good canner walk. Now eventually you don't want to have to do that, but he was training his horse how to do it. So I want you to put her on a 10 meter circle so that you, and now we're in a true course. So if you pass the center line, you're bigger than 10 meters. So hit the rail. Yeah, I want you to use the rail. A rail, either rail, doesn't matter. But that way you have a marker of what is 10 meters. And then on your 10 meter circle, I want you to select the small. What, what rail are you going to use? Avi, half of the court.
Rod step. Canter on a 20 meter. When she does it good, you go back to like cantering on a big shape so you refresh her canter. Otherwise, we. Whoa. And working is freer to Frida. Yeah, it, it's really. It's nicer to Frida. Yeah, we're not going to kill her. We're going to do collected, but not for 20 minutes. Straight. Now more collected. More collected. More collected. Nope, scanner. Okay, that happens to me too. More collected. More collected. You'll feel it's more leg. You'll feel it's more leg. You're getting there. More collected. More collected. She's not collected enough yet, you won't get it. There, let her walk. Nope, see you, let, yeah, Tanner, you didn't ride long. More collected, more collected. Yes, right there. Let her walk. Tanner, do it again. Good transition. There's something different you're doing now. More collected, more collected. That's not collected enough. Don't be afraid of the rain.
still have a drop step. Tanner, go to working Tanner on the 20. Yeah, good walk Tanner, full Tanner. Her look said I didn't know. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. So, could have been good. <laughs> Down the rail, down the rail. Full can, full canner. I didn't say collect a canner yet. All the way down the down to C, down the center line, and then once you're on center line, get her as collected as you can. Do a canner walk and then side pass. More collected. More collected. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel when you can do it. Good job. It's alright. be wrong but to me there it maybe looked like she broke yeah which just means you're doing a good job challenging the collection right leave canna we're just gonna do it one more time each way then she gets a long and low stretch and then she's done good good canna walk good clarity circle i'd go all the way down the long side and give her a full canner so that you remember you can't collect from nothing yeah. you have to create canner to then collect it more thank you yes. now collect 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 canner yeah good good girl good girl good job on the right lead, you almost always need your whip, I think. Collect, collect, collect. Yes, yes, good job. Side pass, that's really hard. Slow it down. You use the side pass as a slowing, suppling tool. Slow. She's riding that though. Now look at the corner. That's your goal. Don't look anywhere else. Tanner. Keep looking at the corner. Keep looking at the corner. Now look down your long side. That's your corner. Now working canner. Not collected. Medium. Almost medium. There you go. 
Now you have a canner that you could collect from. Now center line. Collect it. Collect it. Collect it. Yes. You can do it. Good girl. Side pass. Good girl. Think about how much better those were than the ones before though. I know they're still trot steps. They're not the ones you had on the 10 meter, but they're a heck of a lot better. Now you're gonna trot, stretchy, long and low. Good job. track to the left. interesting thing when I was watching Rupert like if you watch his haunches he's like this mm -hmm. like he has so much movement in oh, his yeah. haunches most horses they're very straight yeah and it's just like this her there you had a lot more than before yeah but it's one thing I noticed with Rupert is he's like so fluid which just means his muscles aren't tight yeah when you 